Back in November, just before the For Rent expansion pack came out, I made a trailer park in Del Sol Valley. And the three trailers on the left here that are already built is that trailer park. And I said that I wanted to bulldoze that starter home next door at the end of the cul-de-sac called Inner Circle. And I wanted to build two more trailers on that lot to kind of complete the trailer park. And yeah, it's February now. It took me a little while to revisit this, but it's done. And you might notice that I'm reusing a lot of the same shapes and designs on these trailers that I used on the trailers on the left side of the park. This is intentional because I want all of the trailers in this park to feel like they were all manufactured by the same one or two companies. This small metal trailer that I'm working on now is almost identical to the trailer on its left at least as far as the overall design and floor plan goes. It is decorated differently because I envision a different Sim living here. This Sim is a single man whose life is basically falling apart and it's entirely his own fault. My chat was saying maybe he has a child that he doesn't talk to. Maybe he hasn't paid his child support in a couple of years. He does not have a job. He can't hold one down. And even though most things in this trailer are broken or busted or scratched or scuffed or damaged in some way, everything is functional. And I did put laundry machines in this trailer, even though it might be a little expensive for the guy that lives here, it just feels more realistic to me. Almost every mobile home that I've ever been in has the washer and dryer in the same place. All of the trailers on the lot next door have laundry machines, so it just made sense. And if you're someone who's seen a lot of my builds already, then you already know I almost always include a washer and dryer in my builds. I also included the water heater from for rent and the electrical fuse box which I put in the bedroom closet. And this living room was looking a little too put together for me so I deleted all the furniture and I gave him a gaming console and one of the most expensive TVs in the game. And I gave him a bubble blower but as far as furniture is concerned this man is content sitting on a folding chair or sleeping on a mattress on the floor. And although he does have a cat that's not his only companion in this apartment. There's also a spider web in the bathroom and he lets the spider stay. He says it's because the spider eats any bugs that get into the house. You don't need any mods or custom content to download this trailer and play in it, but that said, this trailer would be a great place to play with the base mental mod. Because there are a few objects in this trailer that clearly imply that video games are not the only reason this guy has no money. I also gave him one of the most expensive computers in the game and a whole streaming setup complete with a green screen and everything. He might actually have a better gaming rig than me. I don't have a green screen. And I did put a thermostat in this trailer, but not a radiator or a window AC unit. Yes, you can synchronize a radiator and a window AC unit to a thermostat, but functionally all you need is the thermostat. And in the base game, there's a non-functional air conditioner under roof decorations, and I used that here instead. And now I'm just finishing up that overgrown backyard and moving on to the second trailer on this lot. And this one is nearly identical in layout to that blue trailer on the other lot. The most noticeable difference is the location of the front door being on the right instead of the left. But when you get into the interior, you realize that's not how the builder designed it. Instead, the family that lives here is using their back door as the front door. They don't use their front door. This trailer has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, and I started with the master bathroom, which has pink carpet. And these platforms all look really nice, but I'm gonna be real with you, I did not play test that bathtub. But I know for a fact that shower works. And then my chat tried to convince me to put this cabinet between the two sinks, but I didn't really like it. So I deleted it and it was very controversial. I also somehow forgot that I had a toilet in here already and I put another toilet up against this diagonal wall. And after a few minutes, someone in the chat asked why there were two toilets in here. And that's when I realized what I had done. And I haven't told you about the family that lives in this trailer yet. It's a couple and they're three kids, a child, a toddler, and an infant. I figure the child is probably a girl, but as for the toddler and the infant, I didn't really have any specific gender in mind for them. This is a very busy family where the kids outnumber the adults. 
There's cribs and toys and play mats everywhere. And there's not enough bedrooms in this trailer for all of these kids. The baby doesn't even have a room. Instead, there's a crib in the parents' bedroom and another one in the living room. And as for the toddler and the child, they share a bedroom. And since there are two cribs and a play mat in this trailer, they could technically have two or even three infants, but I think one is enough. And now I'm working on the kitchen and dining space, and I really love what I did with the laundry room here, but I didn't get to keep it, unfortunately. I didn't remember until later that I really wanted the water heater in this space, and I had to sacrifice my beautiful laundry room to make it happen. And before anyone asks, no, that linoleum flooring does not come in any other colors. It only comes in that one ugly swatch. But ugly linoleum floor like that feels appropriate for this build. And here in the living room, you can see what I meant about the manufacturer clearly intending this other door to be the front door. But the family that lives here uses the door in the dining area as the front door because of the trailer's placement on the lot. And here's that moment where I tear down my laundry room for that water heater. It's a sad day in Del Sol Valley. And here's where I start really bringing out all of the kids stuff. I got one of those children's activity tables, a changing table, like I said earlier, a play mat and another crib. And I scattered a bunch of toys around too. And then this is the kids bathroom slash guest bathroom. I didn't really do much in here. If this was a house, I probably would have done more with the kids bathroom, but it's just a trailer, so I didn't. And then in the kids bedroom, I gave them a bunk bed with a toddler bed underneath. And I tried to use some things in here that I don't really use very often, like this wallpaper and this dollhouse. And I made a custom closet with this door from Island Living. If you're familiar with my content, you know I love doing that. And I pulled out a bunch of these Void Critter decals so I could see the different swatches, but I end up only using two of them. And then moving on to the outside, I gave this trailer a nice large deck, and I also gave them this RV from Debug. It's not functional, but they got a good deal on it. And I gave them a kiddie pool and a little outdoor hangout space. But we have now reached the end of the build. I'm going to stop talking and do a walkthrough. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.